Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. Okay, in the previous video I showed you, I told you I'm going to be showing you how to remove all these ugly bullets from your menu by the one that separates each menu here and also how to change your insert your logo and also change probably the color of your menu bar into your own this is what i'm going to be dealing on on this particular section of this tutorial i really don't want to make the video too long that's why i'm going to stop in this place i'm going to make each every aspect of this tutorial a unique one so that it won't make the video too long so that you'll be able to follow along okay without waste of time let's go straight into my dashboard this is my dashboard i'm going to go to where i'm having customize i'll put come to customize okay here is the customize section so now i'm going to for me to be able to customize this particular section i'm going to come to where i have my header i'm going to come to header then i'll come to header section you can see how it is now to actually if you want to display your logo this place has to be ticked on and if you need your uh, social icons on your menu bar by this by the side of your menu bar you have to tick um, allow enable this particular section if you need a search bar button you can also allow this place now i'm going to come down to this place and show you something now on this particular side now i'm having my header background color now i'm having it here as white probably i'm going to let me change it to a different color let me see i want to make it to be this color let me see you can see how it is now but you see that the color is actually affecting my text because the text was actually let me return it to how it was the text is actually this particular this blue color so it was it actually affected the text the text is no longer showing but never mind i'm going to actually change that text so i'm going to return it to this particular one so once this is how it looks like now so now i can change i'm going to change this particular logo so that you see how it looks like now i'm going to come down if you notice when i scroll it changes it actually string and also changes the color so i can that this particular aspect place now has to do with the sticker sticky header background so on this particular side i'm going to change the color of this probably let me i'm going to use a different let me use try using a different color let me say this i will try using a different shade of that particular color let me say i'm using a darker shade let me say this is the shade i'm using so now notice what happened if you actually notice if you can see see here very well or let me make use of a different color entirely let me use red for it so now you can see that by the time i you can see it changes color that is the sticker background if you sticky background so now if you want to actually leave it the way to the original color i'm going to leave mine to be the original color so on my sticky background i'm going to make it the same blue color so now i'm going to now come to on this part where you're having dark or, or white where you're having the color scheme sticky background blue which is what you're having okay now on this place where you're having the sticky background team now you can see we have light and we have if you use light is the menus here are going to turn to white that is what it refers to then if you use the dark one it's going to remain as the blue so let it refresh you're going to see how it looks like you can see my text now is now white all the text within it is white so now this is the light where you have your color scheme is white is light only so i'm going to leave my as the dark i need the dark one so i'm going to leave it as dark on both of them it, you can also change that for this particular one also that's the same thing you are going to do so now i'm going to come to where we have scale to 
scale, scale logo to sticker header so for the, let me go and do something i'll come back to this particular aspect here i'm going to do something i'm going to go back to where i have let me save this now i'm going to come back to where i have my site identity let me change the logo so that you see what happens here to change the logo i'm going to come to site identity click on site identity you have logo here i'm going to click on the logo then from here you can actually drag in your logo or import so now i have my own logo already i'm going to drag it into it so this is my logo i'm dropping it now this is the logo so now what you are going to be noticing each time you are creating your website or website for any ensure you always try to add all this this actually help all the title alternate text and it actually helps for search engine so that search engine can get to see your site using the logo so now i'm going to on this one i'm going to do it this way then crop image so now this is the logo i'm actually going to be using you can see it's actually cropping so you can now see this is my logo and here is it displayed on my website you can see how it's displayed here so now let's say for example i actually the size here i don't want the size here the size here i'm not okay with it i can increase it let me say 120 you can you will see the changes it grows a bit bigger you can actually reduce it to your size if you want but now i'm going to make my let me say my i'm going to leave my has 140 i'm going to leave my own logo has 140 140 is actually okay for me for this particular logo i can click on this hide icon so that i will see the full width so that i will see everything how it looks like then click back here it's going to give you the preview so now i'm going to also change the icon the what we have here now if you come to this place you have site icon now once you click on this site icon i can decide to use this this site icon actually has to do with this particular icon here so now i'm going to click and one thing you need to know the site icon is actually usually it used to be a square it actually needs to be a square so for example i'm going to be using this as my site icon so i'm going to you can see how it's the preview here so once i do accept it it's going to and i request actually if i should refresh this particular page on my website you are going to see it's going to change this you can see from this one now it changes to this particular this logo so let me refresh here and see so that you see what i'm talking about let me save it and now let me refresh this particular page okay now you can see this is now my preview this is what i'm having here my logo is here and actually my site icon so now i'm going to go back to where i'm having i want to remove this particular dot i'm having here so i'm going to go up so now i'm going to click on header then come to our header menu this time around i'm not on section on i'm on header menu you click on the header menu so now i'm going to go down a little go down you will see where you have display menu splitter if i should deactivate this you can see that that particular bullet separating them is gone just watch ha what happens to this particular place when i activate it back you can see it displays those bullets so if i should deactivate it it goes off so now our menu bar is now looking nice when you look at it now so now this is where i'm going to I say I'm going to go back here publish the settings already so from here I'm going to move into showing you how to also customize your footer how your footer is going to look like in case you're confused this is your footer so I'm going to come down back go back to where we have footer and from the footer I'm going to choose my footer I'm going to choose footer then once you notice you will see that if I don't want to display the footer i can just deactivate it but now i'm going to on this my default now on this one now meaning that i can add social i my social icons to this particular part of this footer now again another thing you are going to i'm going to also show you now is that this side now is where like for example if you can see my footer is actually i'm actually okay with the way it is like this my site name this place has to do with where you are going to insert the site name 
then all copyright is out. I actually want, love it the way it is like this. So I'm going to leave it that way. So I'm going to now come to where we have our, I'm not going to make it sticky. So I'm going to leave it like this. So where we have the color now, I'm going to make sure I'm going to choose a color that looks almost like what we are having in the top here. So this is so that it actually rhymes. So I'm going to now come down to this particular side. If you notice on this side, let me choose a color, a different. Like now, if I should choose this, you can see this particular top separator color. If you notice in this particular place, you will see as if there is something like a green line here. That's just line is just to separate the top from what we are having from the footer. So I can just let me return it to the default color. I'm going to make it the default color let me say i'm going to make it white i'm going to leave it as white color so uh from here now i'm going to if in case i want to increase the thickness of the line like for example let me make it the red then i want to increase the thickness let me say 10 pixels you if i should add that you can see that the line is ticking so that is just what that particular so I'm going to now return it back to the default, which is one, and also make it return it to my white color. So that is just that about that. Now, okay, coming back to our top now, I'm going to choose a different form of footer. I'm going to choose this particular one that has probably I want to insert my menu in this particular side. So now you can see it's telling me admin has noticed there's no footer found in this how am i going to fix that what you are going to do is just to come up here then come to where we have let me duplicate this so that we can still be using it for review so i'm going to come to here where we have our menus come to menus then click on the menu it's going to load up and open up our menu for us so this is our menu so what we are going once we are here now what you are going to do if you should click edit anything here is you are editing the main menu we created the other time so i'm going to create a new menu for this click on create new menu so it we open up then i'm going to insert the name of the menu let's say footer menu then click on create menu so once you create on create create menu is going to upload or open up so now what from here from here we are going to be coming this is our menu here so now we are going to come to all now i'm going to insert the menus i want on this particular place so let me say i want this about let me say home let me then i need about here and let's say i need simon and let's say donate on that particular side of let's say we together with contact then i'm going to click on add to menu so I'm, once i click on add to menu it's going to add them to, it will add to the right this right side of this particular menu just watch here is it is as added to this particular side why well, i actually selected these two home because i wanted to know which one is the default one so i'm going to clean up that default one then rearrange the ones that are my pages so from here now once i rearrange them contact let me say i don't even need this contact i'm going to remove it uh, i just need maybe this particular ones there i'm okay with this ones here now i'm going to what for it to display on my footer i'm going to click on add to navigation menu then click on save so once i have that is saved i'm going to now go back to you can see it has saved it has actually saved my settings now i'm going to come back to where i have this then just publish my menu now so by the time i publish my menu and refresh my page again you're going to see that the menu is actually going to display you can see once it loads it is going to display my menu for me you can see the menu is here so now click on this side let me refresh my page once again so once i refresh my page if you come down here you can see my footer is okay so i can actually navigate to any part from here 
from my Twitter. If you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new videos. So I hope you've actually learned from this particular video. I really don't want to make the video too lengthy, but ensure you watch my next video where I'm going to be proceeding into showing you how to customize your home page, how your home page is going to look like. This is a very easy method. We are going now going to be moving into the our where we are going to be making use of drag and drop we're using our elemental plugin so i'm going to be just stick around just make sure you watch the next video until next time this is where i'm going to stop for this particular video thank you